Hi there, and if you're looking at this video, that means that you are very keen to start a meditation class, but perhaps there's just a couple of things holding you back, and in particular, of course, the cost of the program, because in order to run a meditation class, of course, there are costs involved. It's not totally free. There's the cost of the subscription and the venue and things like that. Now, we don't believe that you should run your classes uh, at a loss at all, and so our aim is to at least have you cover your costs uh, involved in the uh, meditation classes that you run. But still, for some of you, it might be a bit of a leap of faith to pay that first $49 or whatever it is for the first month's subscription of our program before you've got anything organized. So, this video is for you. Now, what I want to tell you about is a colleague of mine, or one of our leaders, uh, that was keen to start the program but was concerned about her um, revenue coming in and whether it would match the um, revenue going out. So, what she did, and this is by far the easiest and most secure way to do it, is she sat down and made a list of 10 of her friends, whether that's from work or her uh, school mums or her, just her friends in general, just sit down and think of 10 people you know that may be interested in coming to a meditation class. And then when you've got those 10 people, just ring them up and see if they are interested in coming. Now, when we talk about the modules, we talk about what to charge. And a good way to charge is for a drop-in, you'll charge slightly more. And if people are willing to buy, say, five or ten uh, meditation lessons in a, lot, a row, you uh, drop it back a bit. So say for argument's sake here in Australia, we charge $15 for a single meditation lesson and $10 for a drop-in, uh, uh, for a block of meditations, of five meditations. So that's $50 for five meditations, which works out at about $10 each. Now, what I recommend you do is to really push people into that second bracket and take advantage of the cheaper uh, rates because it's good for you for two reasons. One, it gives you some cash up front. And secondly, probably more importantly, it means that they are much more committed to coming every week to your meditation classes. So once you've identified your 10 friends, give them a call up say you're planning to uh, teach meditation and let them know that you've got costs like the venue and like the subscription to put on a really good class and so ask them if they would be willing to if they are interested to pay uh, let's say fifty dollars for uh, five lessons up front and then in addition to that go on facebook and just put an event up or notify Tell uh, people on Facebook that you're running these meditation classes in your local areas. I recommend the uh, buy, swap, sell sites. They seem to work well for some reason, but try and find again another 10 sites which are to do with your local community and post up there that you're intending to uh, run a meditation class and simply contact your contact details. Now those two things you can do in a matter of maybe half an hour or an hour and they're the easiest way to get started. Now all you need out of 10 friends and 10 posts on Facebook, all you need is a couple of people. That's two people. If two people give you $50 each, that's $100. It will pay for your uh, cost of the first month of the program and it will pay for the venue cost of that. If, assuming you've got a venue cost of say $20 or $30, most people get community halls for about $10 or $15 an hour. Huh, yeah. So do that, make sure you get your 10 people. Now in the case of my friend, uh, she actually got 12 people out of, the, out of the 10 people that she called up, about eight of them signed up and then she got about another four over Facebook. So she got 12 people, which is $600. Uh, so she actually decided rather than just pay month by month, she would uh, just pay for the whole subscription and it's done. She never ever has to pay for it again, just in that uh, first you know, couple of hours effort. Um, but in your case, it doesn't matter. Just aim to get 
just two people to cover your first lesson, chances are you'll get a lot more than that if you're really dedicated and make sure you uh, carry through and really contact 10 people and put 10 messages on Facebook. Uh, I'm sure you will. And then once you've got that first month covered, you're able to at least just initiate your lessons, get used to it. And then in our uh, lesson section, we have uh, about, you know, a dozen or so other ways of getting people to your events include uh, meetup groups, uh, paid advertising, how to approach uh, the um, council, uh, A-frames and posters that you can put up and a whole st stack more of other ways you can get people to your classes. Um, but in order just to take that leap of faith and get started, go ahead, make that list of 10 people, ring some people up, get some people interested and then you'll be uh, in a much better position to at least jump on board and try out our meditation uh, membership. The world needs more meditation leaders. There are, there's a huge amount of interest out there now and it's a great opportunity and it's a great thing that you'll be doing for the world um, to help our vision of creating meditation classes in every suburb around the world. Thank you.